good afternoon. I am just uh, decided to get on. I've done a lot of the other signs, and I'm sorry I got to yours last, but I want to get to yours today. I'm doing a reading on each sign and what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. I thought that'd be just a short little one that we could do. And uh, later I'm going to try to do oracle cards every day for each sign and let you pick a card and do that. Um, but for now, I want to go through while I'm shuffling the cards. Aries, you guys have a lot of strengths. Um, just to start off with, you're very spontaneous normally. You're courageous. Um, you have a big sense of adventure. You love to explore. Um, you're determined. You're bold. You're ambitious. You're brave. You have high energy. And you're motivated. And you're a very confident leader. Uh, some of the things that you may want to know that um, may be the weaknesses of a lot of Aries, and you can tell me which ones resonate with you and which ones don't. You can come across as being arrogant to some people sometimes, and some people can see you as being very stubborn and hot-headed, and you get frustrated really easily, and sometimes you're more, you're just quiet. You're more of a quiet person. Hold on a second. I just dropped one of my cards. So let's see what the cards say about what they say your strengths are. Dear God, angels, ancestors, guides, please let me know what are the strengths of the Aries people that are watching this that you want them to know that they have been doing well at. What are their strengths? I had this upside down. Let me do this this way. Sorry, I had the deck upside down. Okay, so before I go on, I'll let you know. This is for entertainment purposes only, and you take what resonates because you can't possibly read for every Aries on the planet, but let me know which of these things resonate with you. You got the Two of Wands, and what that says is that what you're doing good, you've, you've been doing well at achieving the first stage of something that you've been trying to work on. Um, you're having progress in that thing that you're trying to achieve. Um, you're doing well with your future planning, and I don't know, that could be planning financial or other things. Um, and you're very successful, and you do have the courage to overcome obstacles. The other one you got is the Knight of Wands. There he is, as a strength which means you're very energetic people. You're passionate. You're passionate about what you do, what you love. Um, it says you're lustful, which is not a bad thing. It says counts that as a strength. You're adventurous. You're charming. You're creative. And uh, you're very driven. You're very goal-oriented, it's saying. you. And so those are, those are some of the things that you're doing well. You also got the Page of Cups as something you're doing well. It's saying that you're very romantic. And again, it's talking about you being uh, creative. You, uh, you are very smart. Um, you like to learn new skills. And you show talent at a lot of different things. You're very gentle um, with the people that you love. And you can be emotional, it's saying. So let's see what it says. It wants to tell you about your weaknesses. God, Holy Spirit, angels, guys, Jesus, tell us what you want the Aries people to know. What are their weaknesses? What things do they need to work on? Do they need to concentrate on working on right now? Okay, so the things you need to work on, you got the Seven of Pentacles. So it's telling me you need to uh, put in a consistent effort um, to lead to that success. You've got something started and you're doing well with it, but you need to put in more of a consistent effort. Um, and you're going to have success from the past efforts and the efforts that you do put in um, that are going to help you to create profit. You're going to be see your money grow. Um you may even have a sudden gain in your money from this. Um, so it is telling you, though, you do have to put in a consistent effort, though, to have this success. So you need to be better about that. 
and maybe even work on with investment, investing your money so that you can see it grow. So it's more talking about your money and what you need to grow that, what you need to be doing. You also got the Eight of Swords as something that you're, is a weakness. So you put self-imposed restrictions on yourself. You can lift those things. You know, the saying that you don't think you can do something or you're just not sure or you just don't know which way to go. A lot of the things you put on yourself are self-imposed restrictions. And you can lift those off. They, you do not have to put those restrictions on yourself. Um, you maybe have spent a lot too much time alone and you need to get out and bond with more people. Um, it tells you you need to be more honest with yourself. And that will bring about changes. And it says that you need to beware of paralysis analysis. So you need to not just be stuck like this. See how she's surrounded by the swords, which are her thoughts. And then she's tied up and has a blindfold. She can take that blindfold off. And the, 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 the ties that bind her are not that tight. So she can get out of it. This is a prison of her own making and her own mind. So it's telling you to get rid of those self-imposed restrictions. You also got the Ace of Swords is something you need to work on. You need to work on coming up with some new ideas. I don't know if there's a project you're working on that you need to work on getting some new ideas and you need to work on getting mental clarity. Um, you need to be more determined. Um, and you're going to have victory if you are. And uh, you need to have strength, more strength when you're around adversity. And make sure you're always telling the truth. At the bottom of the deck, I'll just show you, there was the uh, Three of Swords. So that tells me it's possible that you may have had a heartbreak um, here in the near past. I don't know if it's past, present, or future. But you may have had a heartbreak or some sort of conflicts and severed ties with somebody. Um, it's telling you that the pain is gonna be followed by healing and it's gonna clear the ground for something new. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple of these angel cards for you and just see if I get any more messages. The universe wants to tell you any other messages regarding anything that the Aries people have been thinking about that you want to let them know that they need to know for their highest good. One more. Okay. Okay. So regarding the things that we were talking about, it's telling you we were talking about a uh, kind of consistent effort for success that might, might help your money to grow. It's telling whatever your, your thing you're thinking about, the question you have, it's telling you you're going to need to communicate clearly. It's also telling you, regarding to what we were talking about, you need to look for a sign. So communicate clearly, look for a sign, and it's telling you you're going to need to ask for help from others, which you a lot of times don't like to do, but you're going to need to ask for help from others, and it's saying you're ready. So that's what I got from those. I may just pull an energy card for you if you guys have time to stick around and take me a second here and see what I get from the energy deck for you. Is what? Give me one card for the energy that the Aries people need to know. What do they need to meditate on? What is the energy around them right now that they need to think on, meditate on, pray on, whatever? Okay. Can you guys believe it's only a few more days till Christmas Eve? I cannot believe it. I am not even close to being ready. I guess it's going to come whether I'm ready or not. Okay. What do you want to tell them? Give them one card for advice. Okay. You got the card of, you see this? Envy. So, let me just go ahead real quick and I'm going to read you that card because it was the one that it said that you needed to concentrate on right now. So, here we go. 
It says, this card shows a woman holding a huge pearl in one hand and a platter of coins and pearls in the other. She stands in a silver room looking out at a golden city on the horizon. She has life. She has a life of value already, but she ignores that and longs for the shining prosperity she sees elsewhere. Instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, her desires for more only cause a deep sense of lack and dissatisfaction, and that energy shows in her dress. This card upright is telling you to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. After all, when you envy others, it only attracts more to them, not you. Notice that all that you have and thank the universe for it. If this card is near an appreciation card in your spread, the message is doubly important. Now is the time to move from consciousness, a lack of one of value. It says, with this shift, all things change. The affirmation is, I let go of lack. I look at the blessings in my life with joy and satisfaction. So I think that can be true of all of us. Sometimes, you know, I have all these things. You know, I'm lucky I have a home. I have a, a good husband. But yet sometimes you you look at the lack, like our sewer backed up. And all I could think of is, oh, my gosh, what else? What else? You know, it just seems like one thing after the other. And I forget to sit back and look at all the blessings that I have in my life and be grateful for them. We all have problems. We all have ups and downs. But if you're grateful, then I think that brings more blessings to you. You know, if you have a kid that wants a candy bar and they just whine or they want something from the store and they whine and whine about it, you don't really want to give that to them, you know. But if you have a child that is appreciative of the things you do and grateful, you want to do all that much more for them. And I think it's the same way in the universe. Don't be envy. Tell God how grateful you are for the things that he's given you. And he's going to supply more. And you will see your finances and your, not just finances, but just abundance, love, all those things. You'll see them increase. Get out of your head. Quit worrying about things. And just go out there and start something new. All right. That's all I got for you guys. So thank you so much. Will you please uh, like and subscribe? And that will let me know that you want me to keep on making more videos. And I really appreciate it. It will help my channel out. Um, I just started maybe a week or two ago. And I really am trying to grow it. So um, I'm happy to do these free readings. And I love doing them. And I want to get to know you guys. So leave your uh, comments on what resonated, what didn't. And go back and hit the like button, the thumbs up button, and the subscribe. And I really appreciate it. Thank you all. And y'all have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye-bye.